but yeah, while she's at Juilliard, mm -hmm. she's giving this class and compared to the, the previous kind of big scene with her, which is edited, this mm -hmm. is a one take. I'm pretty sure it's a one, it's a, a, a one or as they call it, which yeah. is one camera moving around the space. And there's a lot of dialogue mm -hmm. and it's monologue mostly, mm -hmm. you know, she's teaching a class and I'm thinking of it as an inciting incident because it becomes something later that we come back to. She basically is um, in defense of music and Bach. Yeah. And there's this student <coughs> who is mm -hmm. a person of color. Mm -hmm. uh, he specifically said that he was non-binary and pansexual. Right. Yeah. Uh, so she kind of, you know, like dresses him down. Yeah. And he says he doesn't like Bach because he fostered 12 children or something like that. Or he, he had 12 <coughs> children. 20. And he 20, was a misogynist. And he was a misogynist. Yeah. So that's why he doesn't listen to Bach. Right. And she's just flabbergasted by this. Right. And so she, there's this beautiful scene, or this beautiful moment in this scene mm -hmm. where she sits down at the piano with him and he's nervously shaking his leg and she mm -hmm. touches his leg to stop him. And she goes through these different ways of playing Bach mm -hmm. if you're a different piano player. Yeah, so she plays that Bach minuet that goes dun 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 Yeah, and she plays that in like different styles because to demonstrate that the conductor's role is actually a very important one because there are different ways of interpreting music notation. She was demonstrating the different ways to interpret, and none of them are wrong, right? Right. Yeah. And she was also kind of, she was talking about Bach and the importance of, um, you know, knowing Bach, because this student at Juilliard, and I don't know how that happens. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know what the Juilliard, like, entrance, you know, requirements are, but like, um, so he, he mentioned that he was a string player. He was a viol Violinist. violin player. And uh, he came to Juilliard because he, oh, there was this one alumni. Well, who's the one alumni that you, you know, admire? And he said, Sarah Chang. I love Sarah Chang. Mm -hmm. Nothing to say about that. But later it's kind of like implied that perhaps he, chose Sarah Chang because she's like, you know, a minority, like a person of color, <laughs> yeah, a person yeah. of color, because he was very um, hooked on the idea that a person's a composer or, you know, an artist's personal life is directly related to his work, their yeah. work. And therefore, he will not get to know certain works because of what kind of person the composer was, right? And Bach was one of them. Mm -hmm. And so... Tar was uh, disputing, Lydia Tar was disputing this, and she did it in a way that was very aggressive, I admit. It was aggressive. It was aggressive in the way that a hoity toity uh, Juilliard professor would do. We saw this in, uh, you know, we saw elements of this in Whiplash too. Totally. Um, um, which was more dramatized. Now, this was more realistic. But this is 2022 yeah. when this movie was filmed, and it's no longer. It was post pandemic. They noted that in, the, uh, in the beginning. And it definitely rings very differently than when we watched Whiplash yeah. in 2014, right. right? As we talked about in our Whiplash episode, by the way. A Whiplash takedown, <laughs> which you can um, listen to. This And she said a lot of things that we laughed at because we kind of like agreed with oh, her. Oh, she had because, some, some great turns of phrase that is obviously very well mm, script written. Yeah. Written. Um, we're both believers of separating the... Yes. So this yeah, is the yeah. question that this movie raises right. in a sense. Uh, there's a lot of things and there's a lot of things that mm -hmm. we can talk through. One of them is, yeah, early on in the scene, it's 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 thing of how can you possibly ignore Bach when you, because of his issues, they also mention Schopenhauer and, sh and she says, this is a different scene, but... Right. Um, she's talking to her mentor and he mentions Schopenhauer. She says, didn't he push a, a woman down a flight of stairs? And he said, yeah, but that's not in his writings. Yeah. yeah. So this is kind of a scene, you know, relating to that as well. Mm. And yeah, I think you and I both believe that you can separate the artist from the art mm -hmm. and give value to the art mm -hmm. because all artists are mad. They're all, I don't know if all I, I don't know if I agree okay. with that statement. Fair, fair yeah. enough. Not all. Um, but I do believe that a lot of them are 
damaged and that they get right. out their expressions through art. I also, art. for, you know, excuse me for saying this, but I kind of don't care. Yeah. I yeah, don't okay. care. Like, I'm so not I'm interested. I don't care. I'm so not interested in what, whether or not Michael Jackson was guilty of molesting children. I'm really not interested. It doesn't take away from it Billie Jean really at all. It really doesn't take away from, like, I will continue to listen to his music. I think there's a tipping point. Yeah. I think there's a point where yeah. if I didn't, if I'm not passionate about the art right. that you make, then and you do some... Yeah. Some shady shit. Some weird shit. Uh -huh. Then I'm probably going to ignore yeah. you. Except that, like, let's say, like, somebody was a, a dog abuser. I think, like... Okay, so Michael Vick, yeah. quarterback for the yeah. um, Atlanta mm -hmm. Falcons. Yeah. And when I heard about that, I was like, fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that's, that's, that's different, though. Huge, that's, an athlete, yeah. I think, is different. Yeah, an athlete is different. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, I think that because... I don't think you need to pour your tortured self mm -hmm. into throwing and catching a football for example or making a three-pointer i think you do need to pour your tortured self not that you have to but that the way art works is different from athletics uh, where yeah. you this is another expression right that you can't deal with in your mind yeah okay sometimes. yeah got it got it my my point of view yeah anyway. yeah no i get it yeah mm -hmm. but you know all that it being all that aside you know if you could if you want to call me a hypocrite i i totally accept that I'm, i don't know, think I you're could, saying anything hypocritical, um, hypocritical at all. because i'm saying that i can accept certain artists that's why i mean a tipping, yeah. tipping point everybody has the right to determine that for oneself i think you mean the the one who appreciates the art yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. and i think that everybody here's a provocative question okay then. does he have the right to ignore bach i i absolutely think so okay yeah See, that's a difficult one for me. I don't know if I can do the reversal. You're, you're a teacher. Because I, I do think that in teaching, there's an element of um, of antagonism to it. Mm -hmm. You have to antagonize Yeah, students. and I agree. And I also defend her right to, yeah, right. like, you know, um, what do you call it? To kind of grill him antagonize about it. Antagonize him. Yeah, antagonize yeah. him mm -hmm. about it. Um, she is absolutely in the right. You know, the whole... What she did is, yeah. sorry to cut you off, but what she did is she went over the top. Yeah. She um, she singled him out. A she too singled much. him out, and then she eviscerated him. She, for, did really she did. really did eviscerate him. Yeah, yeah. Because she he couldn't really defend himself because what he was saying mm -hmm. was sort of like he was just echoing whatever social media was saying, which she, she, did, said, yeah, which she said, stay off of social media or something. Something about like your. Moral compass is based is on like, by social is defined media. by yeah. yeah social media, and so he you know all of that was, I think, true in his yeah. case because he didn't have any rebuttal. This is a problem. It's yeah. a great. It's it's it's. I think the first time I've seen, mm -hmm. in a movie, um, this sort of tension played out. Right. And these ideas played out, which are very important. Right. And you and I are both. Yeah. On this stuff. Yeah. We are totally misgendered them for this entire segment but what do you mean because they not he he never told me that he wants to be i think he specifically said that he was non-binary well you're still doing it <laughs> <laughs> oh, they specifically said <laughs> see it's hard it it's is hard. really hard Give us a we're break. trying yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, um, just to put it out there with right. that we're trying um and that was another thing that she i think there's another kind of theme in this mm -hmm. Um, that I've been hearing about it, like we, you were l listening to a podcast about it yesterday, whereas like, you know, the traditional queer people, mm -hmm. right? The LGBTQ, right? Plus. No, but like the LGs oh, and okay. Bs, I think, mostly. They are the kind OG of... LGs. The OG LGs, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they are being, they are equally confused Yeah. with... Um, kind of what's going on with mm -hmm. you know uh, pronouns and mm -hmm. sort of like the the gender politics mm -hmm. and uh, the language politics. yeah the language politics of that and so she's sort of like you know she was she's a uh, she's a lesbian she's a lesbian who's you know married and has a child mm -hmm. right and she's sort and of, she has a child who is non-white right um and but she's sort of like considered the problem the the oppressor and like the the privileged sort of the, the privileged rich. yeah 
And I think this is something that a lot of people are dealing with Mm -hmm. right now. And this movie elegantly, ever so delicately and elegantly touches on it without making a big old statement about it. Yeah. 